Close round. What are you going to judge? A left hook by Easter. It's obvious that Granados is going to throw first, and then Easter will try to counter it. Smacked off the chin of Granados. Out of the way this early. That easy. A left hook to the temple of... They are both just battling here in Rennie. Entertaining Granados. And taking a look, there's that big right hand. And, and they have thrown over. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner. His record stands at 20 wins, seven losses. Introducing Granado. With a record of 21 wins, one loss, and one draw, Easter Jr. Times and obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Robert Easter Jr. And use his length and his reach. Good right hand across the top. Or tries to come close, tie him up, wait for the referee to separate you, and then. There's a left hook. Battle tested. Adrian Granados. Easter looks very sharp thus far. Granado. Work your hands free. Work In quite some time, physically. Easter Work looking hands, very go. sharp. A left hook to the body, followed by a right from Easter. Easter should be to box at range. Granados is ring weight 167. So he gained 20 on the jab. Here's the former world champion. Left hook to the body. Knocks bigger and physically shredded. This is trying to slow down the mobility of Robert Easter Jr. Watch the back of his head. Granados, the nice right. If you are Granados, though. Let him go, Rob. Granados. There's an uppercut followed by a right hand. If you're Granados, go to the body. That's what he needs, body punching. Granados. Try to steal the round. And that's the end of round one. And boom, right. And he's, er, Granados is hand speed. Boom, there's a right hand. On the west side of Chicago, and Ed Brown was a rising welterweight. to make Robert Easter Jr. uncomfortable. Showing his superior hand speed and his ring generalship. Combination by Easter, a right uppercut that connected. Easter, a left hook to the body. Granados snuck in a right hand over the top. Under the guidance of George Hernandez. That first round went to Easter in my scorecard, but now right hand by Granados to seize control of the second. Swarming pressure by Granados. Ace. This night very well could go. Back comes Easter. Granados and Easter. Are up. Easter, big right hand for Granados. Thrown pretty much identical. Granados, he's playing in Granados' favor, but good work on the inside. Work rate by Granados. Easter trying to answer back. Are going toe to toe. Eric Dolly warning both about keeping their punches up. Also, Granados should be going to the body and attacking the body. Easter, this is not what you should be doing. As we approach one minute to go here in the second. A left hook on the inside. Here and running. Excellent second round. And Easter with the right uppercut. And taking a look, there's that big right hand. Moving your head, okay? Or Adrian Granados, I have this fight even now. And making Granados chase him all over the ring. The third. And, and uh, a unification fight, still pushing the issue. Devontae Tank Davis, he will battle 
Yuri up the drive here to Redding. Big right hand. It's obvious that Granados is going to throw first, and then Easter will try to counter it. But back comes Granados. The 35, former weight class of Robert Easter Jr. Eric Dolly allowing the fighters to tumble competitors. Easter has been in there with Richard. Close round. What are you going to judge? A left hook by Easter. Fighters that he will make you fight. Big right hand. Right hand that barely missed Granados. Number 28th in Atlanta. Granados. But if you're Granados, he needs to move his head to avoid those jabs and slip them. This is going to be one of those fights between two. A right that connected. There's a right hand. More action here in the third. Look at this. We are through three. The action as they both are just pounding away on round four. This one is scheduled for 4-10. Granados again. Easter maintaining his distance through a right. Granados with moving his head because he makes himself an easier target. They are providing what we thought. Action. There's a left hook by Easter. Cincinnati, a fight in which Broner won by split decision of Granados. Same time. Right hand to the bottom. Following and chasing Robert Easter Jr. He was in the ring against one of Robert Easter Jr.'s stablemates. Eight corner instructing Granados. They want a double jab. Good left hook. They both. Round four is drawn to a close. Round five. This one is scheduled. 4-10. Oh, right hand that boxing air range will do him no favors. And he closes the distance. He starts banging away on the body through four. I have this in even five. Big right the fight. That huge right hand the ring in order to succeed. Easter and landed at a higher connect percentage. The hole just over the midway point of the fifth. Work your hands, free. Very hard to beat if you're Adrian Granados. In the fifth. The right hand for fight is in the center of the ring as we take a look at total punches landed. Accurate of the two. Work your hands, free. Work at it. Let go of each other. The jab. Work your hands. Smacked off the chin of Granados. Granados with the right hand, and now he's got a press. Gets in the chest of Robert Easter Jr. Easter at distance. Be smart. Yes, sir. Okay, fake, fake. Yeah, yeah. Give him some movement. We Let's take a look. There's that big right hand starting off the attack for very good time, instruction. Time, time. Now, okay, okay. now we resume the round. Round number six. Ab. He's just putting together Cobbard Easter Jr. But holding the elbow of Granados. Granados, but Easter is keeping his distance out of the way this early. That easy. I don't know if the weight difference has made a very close fight thus far between Easter and Granados. It's around. Easter using very good movement. Where Adrian's got to go and really apply the pressure. Round six. I could see either man ahead three to two as we are here. 
here in the sixth, same way as he did in the fifth ring. And now Granados needs to tie him up and go to work. 25 pounds. But now they are picking it up again. Going. Who has been quite successful. Excellent finish. Round seven. I have this jab to the body by holding the elbow of Granados. And a fit Granados. A left hook to the temple of. They are both just battling here in Rennie. It is a war of attrition. Adrian Granados is never in a boring fight whatsoever. Fight. Easter. When he has that opportunity, Granados has really got to let his hands go. How much of a man he is in that ring. A right hand by Easter. Both know how much this fight means. Granados unloading. Double left. Granados again. He is always and now has an opportunity to work on the inside. That Toledo mentality, that Toledo tough mentality. Number when it comes to power punches. Doubling up the left hook. Granados dropping down from 47. Granados fighting fire with fire. Way on the body of Easter. When Easter is willing to engage this close. Nice left hook by Granados. A right hand as well. Moving up to 140 from 35. And push Granados against the ropes. Thus, again, here on a Saturday night, a right that connects. How you feel, Sam? Talk about a slugfest. Look at this, the right by East. On to round eight. I gave that round to Easter. Oh, he gets in between the two. We'll see which man has more left in the tank. Unraveled on the left glove of Easter. I'm curious to see his distance. Very wise of him. Overhand right. Good combination. There's some redness. Left ear, Robert Easter Jr. A fix that in between rounds, and they are slugging it out. Eric Dolly allowing them to fight out of the break once again. Easter throwing as well. Look at this in a right hand. Nations. They are emptying out their tanks. They have the back of not working. Situation. Get back on the ropes. Between these two, look at this by Granados. Granados has got to cut off. Granados charging ahead. Cut. The tape is starting to. Left hook to the body by Granados. Granados with some momentum now in the eighth. He's with the uppercuts. What a fun match. Include the eighth. Between these two, I mean, just look at this. Good left uppercut by Granados. Hard fetched to find entertaining Granados. If you're Granados, he's got to make an indelible and he's got to use that right hand for momentum for the rest of the night. Granados pounding away on the body, Easter. Very good judges. Right hand by Granados. Here we are in round nine, and they've thrown over 1,200. Charging forward. Corner of Granados urging him cut off the ring. Big right hand that found it. He got with the right. In this bout, Julie Letterman, Kevin Morgan, John Pottery. Such a high punch output. They are pounding him. Realizes he must cut off the ring. Easter looks very sharp. Doubling up on the jab is Easter. Now, if you're Easter, get back on your jab. Oh, pull your arm out of it. Watch your head. 
do go the distance. A right hand followed by a left hook. Duck by Easter. Granados did Granados as well. This is just absolutely a big punches, thudding shots. Here is action again as we close out the night. If you do, you not even let them go. You got to rip them. What a fight it has been. Robert Granados looks very good at 140. Watch your heads, guys. Plenty of opportunities to separate themselves. Junior's father told him, you got a box. Stay on the outside. Easter letting his hands go, but back comes Granados. To the limit. In this 10 round, a right hand by Granados. It's a war of will. Granados with a big right hand. The left eye of Robert Easter Jr. What a battle here in Pennsylvania. The fight or of the round, I stand corrected. Granados with his back on the ropes. Left hook by Easter. We'll see which man picks up the pace. Good as well. Some sweating. As soon as Easter's done, Granados throws a combination of his own. And the battle tested Adrian Granados as they fight. Easter backing up Granados. A jab to the body by Granados. Good inside fighting. Excellent performance. Between the as well, Robert Easter Jr. as his father, definitely, who made their way to the Santander Arena, got their money's worth. 1,815 punches thrown. I mean, even to keep up from a commentary standpoint. Look at this. That was an excellent. And Easter and Granados, they both embrace. That was a fun. Did we have a unanimous decision? Here are the score total. 98 to 92, Robert Easter Jr. Robert Easter Jr., here are the scores. Look at that. <laughs>